Jennifer here. Welcome back to my channel. I have a bit of a different video today. I was contacted by this company called Printworks and they are based in the US. And she sent me some information on the company and asked me if I would like to do a collaboration with them. So I'm going to, you know, so I asked her, I said, well, um, I'll take a look and, you know, research and, and let you know. And so I got back with her and I thought there were a lot of things that I could use currently, you know, when I create my journals or for organizing. So there was a little bit of um, everything. They have a lot more than what I'm going to show you, but I wanted to show you what I chose from the items that uh, she had available. So it was their... Um, their paper line and their uh, organizing systems called Docket. And they have other colors, but I just picked a neutral one because um, if I wanna store this like on one of my Calyx shelves, I can fit that on here, in there. So I just thought this would be cool to try. So I'll open that in a minute. So the things that I thought I would be using most of all for printing off digitals, and working with digitals and stuff like that were these papers. So I have a matte photo paper, and this one is 30 sheets, eight mil, eight and a half by 11. Now, I tried to find this on Amazon. They do have a Printworks website, but I left everything that I have here in my um, influencer page on Amazon. So go ahead and check that out. The link will be below to all of these items. You can take a look, you can give them a try. So the matte photo paper is like your copy paper and it is a eight mil paper. Now this one is not the one that I have listed and I think it's six mil, so it'll be fairly similar to, you know, copy paper type thickness. But I thought this was cool because sometimes I like to print on both sides for my journals. Let's say if I have a print a digital page, I print on one side like the pattern and then maybe the other side, either another pattern that might match coordinating or a coffee dyed paper or pink or something you know neutral on the other side. So I thought this would be good for like your journal pages. Um, if you're gonna print on this, for journaling cards, you would probably need a to back it up with something. But I'm going to show you everything that I have, and then I'm gonna show you some examples of what it looks like when I print it out, okay? So then I have this white cover stock. This white cover stock is an 80 pound cover. So the difference between I would say it's kind of confusing because it has an 80 pound cover and then this is a 110 pound index. So it's better almost to look at the GSM because you can see the real thickness. So, and they also have a, I don't know, like a paperweight guide. But anyway, I opened these two and when I pulled it out, this is the Premium Plus and this is Premium. All of their card stock is for printing. It's laser and inkjet compatible, acid and lignin free, and there's free templates and printables that you can find on their website. So I'll leave their website as well as the list to my Amazon page so you can kind of check everything out price-wise. Um, so this is the white cover cardstock, and then this is the premium white cardstock. I feel like for me, since I print a lot, I would probably get the bigger pack because you, it's more you know cost efficient. But if let's say you're printing invitations, or maybe this will be your journal cover, and you want to print the pretty, you know, maybe a pretty. Um, digital on that. You can kind of see the difference vaguely. This is a super bright white for the white cardstock. That's the premium. And then this is um, not as white, but 
And I would say this is a little bit thicker, obviously. It's 216 grams per square meter, and this is 199. So, but I honestly think that this is fine for tags and journaling cards and stuff like that. Um, if you like, obviously, if you like this more, you can, but I figured cost-wise this would be good. But this would be good if you have like, you know, obviously special invitations or something that you're printing special um, or your journal cover, or maybe you just like that better. But um, so I'm gonna try printing on both and just kind of show you the difference, okay? So those are those. I've got the, you know, the mat, the uh, premium plus and the premium. Okay, open this organizing thing. All right, so I haven't even looked at this yet. But, student-inspired teacher designs. I thought it'd be kind of cool to put, you know, if you're working on something, you can put all of your ephemera and pieces and stuff like that, all the papers in there. So that's interesting. It opens up like that. So you can put the papers in vertically. And it expands. That's very cool. So there's eight pockets. Very cool. And then, let's see. For some reason, I thought there was like labels. They might sell that separately, I guess. For these. Nope, I was right. They do have labels. So they have different size labels that you can put here. So they're like stickers. And then you can write on them. And so it looks like they go there. Okay, cool. So that is something that they do sell and they are um, expandable. And I like the fact that, um, you know, it's a neutral color because I, but you might, you guys might find one that matches your room better. I just thought this was perfect and neutral for me. Okay, next up, which is super cool. They have some really cool things here. So they have this white glitter card stock and it's printable. So you get 15 sheets, 104 pound cover, 280 GSM. So it looks like it's pretty thick. Inkjet compa compatible, acid and lignin free. So I thought this would be really cool to work with some of the digitals on Shabby Art Boutique this month and kind of give it a go. So you can see here, it's got, um, it's really sparkly. And that is so cool that it goes into your printer. I, first time I've heard of that. So I was like, oh, I gotta try that. And it's, it's pretty thick. So I'm excited about that. The other thing here is the fabric transfers. So I thought, wouldn't that be fun to put some of, uh, you know, if you have a nice digital or you have um, some lettering or something that you wanna put on a canvas bag or a t-shirt or anything, really. This one is for white or light colored fabrics. Quick and easy print and iron to personalize white and light colored cotton. So you're gonna have to print it like reverse image then if you're gonna iron it. So perfect for garments, totes, aprons, crafts, and more. You get 25 sheets, eight and a half by 11. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, so just so you know about the white glitter, I think they have silver and gold. That might be interesting too, but I just got the white. And then this one, I just got the light colored fabrics. They also have one for um, darker fabric transfers. So this is interesting. So I'm sure that you print it on this side and then iron it. I can't wait to try that, honestly. That would be so cool to do like a little bag for your journal matching with the fabric, or you could even iron on your journal cover. That's gonna be fun. Okay, next up I have some pastel paper and pastel cardstock. They're a little bit different in the fact that you get a cream vanilla color as well with the cardstock. Now for these, I really thought the um, 
the colored papers here would be cool in a journal, just as it is. Or you can try coffee dyeing or tea dyeing them. I would love to see how that looks because, you know, they're already colored for me. Let me go ahead and open that. So the paper is 20 pound paper, so it's just like, you know, copy paper. So you have the blue, pink, yellow, and minty color. It's very pretty. So I, I'm going to, um, you know, obviously you can use these based on whatever color journal you're using. You can kind of see through it. It's very, um, a little bit transparent, but it feels nice and smooth. And then I'm going to try to coffee dye or tea dye them and see how they turn out just to kind of give a comparison. So stay tuned for that. And then the pastel cardstock is... Oh, it says 67 pound vellum. Interesting, okay. So you have vellum cover and index. This is 147 grams per square meter. I'm interested to feel how that feels actually. So it's a pretty fairly thin sheet. It's not like super thick cardstock because I guess it's the vellum. So the vellum, even though it says vellum, it's not like vellum. So I don't know what that means exactly. But both of these are also laser and inkjet compatible, acid and lignin free. Um, so this will be fun to play with and I will probably coffee dye this as well. You can make, you know, you can uh, sit there and die cut some things with your papers and then just have them on hand you know so the colors are the same as the pastel paper but you do get this beautiful vanilla I really like that color so I will probably because there are like bright colors which would be great for a spring journal or Easter but I think I'm gonna coffee dye or tea dye those just to see how they turn out Okay, next up I have craft cover stock. So this is a heavier weight. It's 216 GSM and it's the 80 pound cover. So this is just a craft card stock and it's actually a really nice color craft. Let me go ahead and open that. So I just open the top, you know, very carefully like this, just because I don't want to take off all of the plastic quite yet until I put it in my organizing things in my craft room so this is also printable which i can't wait to see some some things printed on this but it's just a really nice color uh craft it's like i don't know it's just so nice it is a really nice color it almost looks like crumb cake from stampin up but it's a really nice color and then the last but not least is this sorbet cardstock. So this is 60 pound, 67 pound the vellum. So it's gonna be the same as the pastel cardstock. And you get all of these colors. You get this coral, gray, mint, vanilla, and then this brighter pink. So I'll be probably cutting out some things um, with my dyes using this. I'm gonna try printing also because it's it is laser jet so i'm gonna try doing that i mean inkjet and laser jet so yeah that's all of the goodies guys that i received so i was really pleased with how much they sent me i couldn't believe it i thought i was just gonna pick a few things and they sent everything that i liked <laughs> so i'm gonna be right back and i'm gonna show you some of the things that i printed for shabby art boutique okay guys i'm back and i have done all the printing that i'm gonna do for right now this is using the premium white card stock. This is the one that comes in the larger packs of 250 sheets and it comes in a pack of three. So you'll have plenty of paper for a long time. This is with the premium white card stock. Okay, so I printed off the PDF file from Chevy Art Boutique for this month. So if you haven't seen her digital club this month, check it out. It's so sweet. There's lots of pretty florals and there's even sweet little hedgies. So, and then here I printed out some of the postcards and stuff like that because 
since they're rectangular, it's a lot easier to just cut them out. Don't need the Cricut to do that. So I printed out these on, these are all premium cardstock. And then this is what I'm going to have cut out with the Cricut. So I think that the paper is really nice. Um, it does do a bleed mark around the, for the print then cut. And if you haven't seen how I take her elements to um, print them and cut them with the Cricut, I'll leave the link to that below, as well as the Amazon uh, store that you can check out the papers if you're interested in. I know a lot of people have asked like what papers I use, and I have tried several different papers, and I'm super happy with these. I really feel like these are super nice. Now I did want to show you first of all the matte photo paper this is the like you can print on both sides it's super smooth i was so impressed when i printed this out the feel is like butter i mean it's so smooth because it's the matte photo paper on each side so what i did with these i thought would be a really nice thing to do since i want to print on both sides is make is i printed the letters and then, well, this is the letter, and then this is a receipt. And I just thought printing, you know, one of the background pages that was less busy, I can fold this into thirds or whatever and make it a little journaling spot, but a little pretty journaling spot in your journals. I just love that. And I remember I was saying you could use these for your interior pages of your journal, so. You could print them and then use them. It's so, it's really nice paper. I was really impressed with this paper. Okay, so then the last but not least, I wanted to show you the difference between the two card stocks. Well, one is card stock, one is called cover stock because it's thicker. So remember this was the 216 GSM and this one was 199. So this one was the white card stock and this is the white cover stock. Now it's very close, but you can see that this image is a little bit more bright in coloring because this is on this premium plus, which is a really pretty white but if you're not comparing in them honestly this is beautiful as well so I mostly printed out using the white cardstock just because I print a lot and so you know I need the best bang for my buck but I was really impressed honestly with both of these they're about the same. I mean, this one's a little bit thicker, you can tell, but I mean, this is really not, this is still cardstock. So anyway, I just want to show you the difference. So I'll leave the links to everything below. I think you will be really happy with these papers, guys, if you decide to choose to, to purchase them. And um, I'll be back soon with this cut out and getting ready to work on my shabby art boutique project so thanks so much for stopping by and i will talk to you soon bye for now